Assalamu alaikum. So we have been working from home for the past few months and it's something that we've started doing or we were doing before but now we're just doing it a lot more and that is meeting online. Now there's five reasons why meeting face to face is best and I'm going to explain to you now why we should actually try and meet face to face as much as possible. So conference calls have changed forever in our business world. Long distance communication has become key to the success of many organizations. Remote workers and virtual teams are quickly becoming the norm these days. Yet meeting over the phone is not always the answer. When you meet face to face is when work really tends to get done. You don't have to be in person but you need to be there. I'm a big believer in face-to-face -face meetings. Phone calls are great and convenient. However, without discipline, they can be wildly ineffective. The problem with phone conferences is that most people aren't there. By this, I mean they are probably doing something else. People end up phoning it in. Attendees, I won't call them participants, are doing everything but listening to what is happening on the phone call. Instead, you get a background noise, you call on people and it takes them 30 seconds to get off the mute on the phone. So do you think these people were paying attention to anything related to the call? So the power of face-to-face -face meeting. Face-to-face -face meetings are how the work usually gets done. Sometimes it makes sense to meet face-to-face -face even if there's more time, cost or inconvenience involved. Don't let distance be an excuse for not meeting face-to-face. -face. Video chat is much better than a phone call for discussing tough issues. Whichever way it is, whether it's face-to-face, -face, you've traveled and you meet this customer, or whether it's on video chat, face-to-face -face is very important. Skype, FaceTime, um, you have nowadays Google Meet, you have WhatsApp. There's many other the apps that make it easier than ever to meet face to face even when you are remote recently the most popular has been zoom so whenever possible make sure that you meet face to face i'll give you five reasons why face to face meeting is best firstly the body language is communication we tend to forget that body language plays a major part in our communication it is not just how you said something but also how your facial expression and body posture is important this is lost in, in a normal telephone conversation. It ensures engagement is my second point I want to make. Who knows what people are doing on a conference call? You might, you might not want to know. However, face-to-face -face leads to engagement. It ensures that people are in the conversation. <clears throat> I was on a video call with, um, with a colleague one day when I suddenly stopped the call. My colleague then leaned over and was having a separate conversation with his colleague in that branch. When he turned around, he apologized, oh, I guess you could see that. So really, it's very, very important that when you are speaking face to face, you can see this person and you're making sure that he's looking at you and he's listening attentively, which is very important because your, your message has to get across very well. The third point I want to make is that it clarifies meaning. Conference calls can lead to misunderstanding, either due to lack of communication by the body language, which I mentioned earlier, or simply because the medium is not conducive to individuals asking for better meaning, meaning that sometimes the phone call, there's a bad line, or if there's a lot of people into the conference call, maybe one guy's mute is not on and you can't hear properly. It's really, really, really a problem, especially when you need to clarify, we need him to repeat something, or you need to him to just explain to you exactly what does he mean by his, by his statement. So it's much harder to actually raise your hand on a call than it is in person. The fourth point I want to make with regards to face-to-face -to -face meeting is that it drives participation. So when you are all in the same room, it encourages people to participate. You can't just go and sit in a corner and turn your back to the meeting. Yet, this is exactly what people do in conference calls. When you're driving your participation, you can say, David, what do you think of what I just said? Do you have any suggestions? Things like that. Guys, do you have any suggestions? Like this, they can speak to you, you can view them, and they can actually, the facial expression will tell you what the suggestions are, or whether they are doubtful, or whatever it may be. My last point I want to make is that it's very, very clear that face-to-face -face meetings tend to be shorter than conference calls. On the phone, everyone sits around on mute, waiting for the discussion to end. Yes, this can happen in a meeting room. However, in a face-to-face -face situation, there's a greater pressure to get to the point. Very, very greater pressure. You can actually speak to the guy and, and see how his facial expression is and sort of ask him, listen, what is this? What can we do? Uh, can you please do this for me? Whatever it is, facial expression is very important. So, my point is, face-to-face -face 
gets it done. When possible, make sure you meet face to face. Your meetings will be shorter, engagements will be higher, and communication will be better understood. And of course, with technology, you can meet face to face even when you aren't in the same place. Remote conferencing, as I made, mentioned earlier, there's many of these companies around who can help you with that. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time.